How's it going guys? How's it going guys? I used to eat a lot of eggs and I used to think they were a great source of protein, they were a whole food, and I knew it wasn't doing any anything ethically wrong because honestly I wasn't actually killing a chicken because these eggs are just chicken menstruations. These these eggs are just chicken periods. So when a chicken has a period, it lays an egg. It doesn't actually lay an egg that's going to produce a little baby chicken like this. So I knew I wasn't actually killing any animals. But then I actually did a little bit more research. I was like, wait, if I'm not actually killing the animals from the egg, what about the actual chickens in captivity? How are they treated? And it turns out they're treated like crap. So I decided to stop eating eggs. Stop eating eggs just for that ethical reason. But now it turns out I used to eat eggs for the health reason. I really did. I really think, thought they were healthy. But let's find out how healthy eggs really are. So how much cholesterol is in one egg? How much cholesterol is in one egg? According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, one large egg has about 186 milligrams of cholesterol. Okay, good to know. 186 mil milligrams of cholesterol. But how much cholesterol should we be having on a daily basis? Well, let's find out. How much cholesterol to eat per day? People with heart disease, and one in four people will die of heart disease. I repeat, one in four people will die of heart disease. Let's confirm that. About 610,000 people die of heart disease in the United States every year. That's one in four deaths. And that's coming from a government website. One in four deaths come from heart disease. So, people with heart disease are advised to limit themselves to 200 milligrams of cholesterol per day. That's one egg. That's one egg. So that means they're allowed to have one egg, and then the rest of the day, they have to be vegan, because anything else has cholesterol in it. Vegetarians have milk and cheese, but both of those are excellent sources of cholesterol, meaning they're high in cholesterol. They're high in cholesterol. So people, people with heart disease can have one egg per day, and the rest of the day, they got to be vegan, basically. And people with diabetes. How many people have diabetes? Well, let's find out. Let's find out how many people have diabetes. 29 million people have diabetes. That doesn't mean much, but there's 319 million people in America. So what's 29 million people? What percent of that? What is the percent of that of 319 million? That's 9%. So basically 10%. So basically one in every 10 people have diabetes. So Basically, one in ten people have diabetes and one in four have heart disease. So a lot of people should really be limiting themselves to 200 milligrams of cholesterol per day. Now, let's say I have an egg, but let's be realistic. I also want a steak for dinner. I want a nice big 10-ounce steak. Okay, This shouldn't hurt me. Just a regular old 10-ounce steak. No problem. Uh, how much cholesterol is in a 10-ounce steak? Well, in one ounce of steak, you see one ounce right here, one ounce of top sirloin steak. 26 milligrams. So times that by 10, and that's 260 milligrams. That right there puts me over the recommended limit. And this is, again, this is coming from the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada, man. This is a government website. They're not trying to trick us or anything. That's a lot of 200 milligrams maximum. That's what they say. And already, if you have a steak and some and an egg, you're well over. Now, bacon. Let's have some bacon again. We got to be realistic here, man. Everyone's eating bacon. One strip of bacon, 100 grams, one slice. Okay, here we go. That's more like it. Nine milligrams of cholesterol for some bacon, but times that by times that by five strips. You know, that's 50 milligrams. Everyone's got at least five strips of bacon. That's 50 milligrams, man. That it's, again, that's putting you way, way, way over. So, what's the what's the leading cause of death in America? Does cholesterol have anything to do with it? Well, it's heart disease. Again, it kills one in one in every four deaths come from heart disease. Is there a correlation between cholesterol and heart disease? Well, let's find out what causes heart disease. What causes heart disease? Smoking, yep, smoking for sure. High amounts of certain fats, certain meaning animal fats maybe, and cholesterol in the blood, seriously? Cholesterol in the blood is the second second reason here, and high blood pressure. Well, cholesterol in the blood and high blood pressure. Does cholesterol raise blood pressure? Answer, because high blood pressure puts a strain in your heart, brain, and blood vessels, it can increase your risk of developing heart attacks and strokes. Having raised level of cholesterol in your blood also increases the risk of developing these health problems. So yes, having high cholesterol will raise your blood pressure, for sure. Now, blood vessel inflammation. Ooh, does cholesterol affect blood vessel inflammation and thus lead to heart disease? Can it cause heart disease? Well, let's find out. Your blood vessels, healthy for life. 
high cholesterol levels in the bloodstream injured the healthy blood vessel lining and caused inflammation. Wow. Wow. So there is a correlation. There is a correlation. This is amazing. So that's it, guys. One in, one in every four deaths comes from heart heart disease and we know what causes it now it's definitely the cholesterol um, eas easily proven there so hope you guys learned something from this video and now you look at these things slightly differently these things are not safe they're not safe for you they're not safe for the animals and not safe for the planet so if you know anyone that eats eggs on a regular basis share this video with them and you know honestly you don't need to eat eggs any nutrient you get from eggs your body either produces on its own, like cholesterol, or you can find it in plant foods. Peace and have a beautiful day.